Hey guys, on this tutorial I'm going to show you how to check the warranty that you have left over on your iPhone, iPad or iPad Touch. I'm doing this on an iPhone, it's going to be the same thing on your iPad. Um, basically you don't need your iPhone on your hands, but you do need to go and see at your iPhone's um, serial number. So serial number you can find once you go into settings, so let me just go back. So right here in settings, once you get into it, okay, you're going to scroll down till you see general. In general, you're going to go about, in about you're going to scroll down till you see serial number, okay. Right now I can't scroll down since um, it's not good to give your IME out, okay, so I can't let you guys see that part. But your serial number doesn't really matter. You can give that out to everybody. It doesn't matter. Okay? Serial number is just for you to check your your coverage and that's about it. So once you copy it, okay, you're gonna copy and paste it onto this web page that I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, to copy it just in case, all you have to do is hold your finger on top of any of these. So as you can see here you see network, songs and all that stuff. Let's see if I hold my finger over this part it's gonna give me the option to copy it so just click on copy okay then you're gonna get out from this okay just pressing your home button you're gonna get out from that and you're gonna go into safari okay now in safari you can do this on your mac you can go into google chrome whichever you like firefox from your own computer it doesn't have to be on your iphone ipad or ipod touch you can do it from anywhere basically as long as it's you're going to this website which is apple.com once you're apple.com or apple.ca whichever it doesn't matter okay you're just gonna go into the right hand side it says support so once this loads up okay you're gonna scroll down so all the way down here you see check service support coverage so just click on there now I already have my serial number copied so I'm gonna paste it on here okay so that's my serial number like I said doesn't matter nobody can do anything with your serial number so we're just gonna click on continue okay and here you're gonna see your coverage so basically here it tells you what type of iPhone this is it's an iPhone 5 there's the serial number again it tells you that it does have coverage and it will expire this September 19, 2004. So it's going to expire pretty soon, um, but it's still valid. As long as you see these green check marks, that means you have some coverage. This first part says valid purchase date. That just means that the iPhone was registered. That's it. Doesn't mean that uh, you can't register on your name afterwards or something like that. It just means it's fine, easier to find. You, know, like you have to register it again. Some people don't ever register it, um, and then you have to do it again. You have to kind of guess the date when they purchased it, so that makes it difficult. But usually people register it right away, so that's okay. And um, what you're looking for is this right here. This says repairs and service coverage. Okay. So if yours says not like this part right here. Okay, expired. That means it's expired. Right now it's active, so it's active. So that's how you can, how you can check how many, uh, up to when you have your coverage. Okay, because I know a lot of people sell brand new iPhones, but yet if you look up their serial number, they don't have any coverage left. So that means they're lying, or um, or they're lying. That's it, because it's not new. It can't be brand new and not have any coverage. Some iPhones will have three months. Three months, um, usually that comes with iPhones, if they're brand new and they only have three months, they're refurbished. Uh, refurbished all refurbished iPhones have um, have that much. If you buy, let's say, an old iPhone from uh, Mac, okay, from the Apple Store, because they do sell iPhones, uh, right now they're selling, they're still selling the iPhone 4S's, uh, 8 gigs I think they have leftovers. If you buy one of those, let's say, they will have your 12-month um, warranty. So don't believe that, you know, just because they're old, you're only going to get the three months. No, you're going to have the full 12-month warranty, which is one year, okay? Uh, so that's how you check the coverage. If you guys have any questions, comments, please write them here below. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.